All right, I placed the uh, rifle in his arm the way he'll be carrying it, and uh, nah, it's not going to work. I was thinking of having the wind blowing it from behind, but that's too much. I'm trying to figure out what kind of shirt to put on him. Whether to put a cotton shirt or a leather shirt or a combination of both. Because I've got to get the shirt started because it'll be hard to do the shirt once I get the blanket on. One of the tools I use is a uh, pasta machine. It's just a simple kitchen, everyday kitchen pasta machine. And uh, I can run clay through it like this. That's what I've done is I've got it thinner. And now uh, I'm going to cut fringe just like I would if it was leather. All right, I've put, put the uh, clay on the shirt, or on the uh, bottom part of the uh, strap that holds the shot pouch. And now working from the bottom up, I uh, start moving these little cut pieces of clay into position. Just ran a little piece of clay through the uh, pasta machine uh, for the end of the belt. And I'm going to Cut that off there. You want the belt buckle to be prominent above this. And then I'm going to put a loop to hold the belt and in place. See, I'm going to get a couple of metal clasps that would come from the belt. The belt center comes through the hole of the uh, belt. I keep talking about that stuff because if if you cast your work you gotta constantly think about the cost of producing it and if you uh, don't consider that while you're working it's gonna cost you a fortune and then you have to ask a huge price for your work and if you're not well known you can't do that and you'd never sell your work so just trying to give you advice. Um, my name is Dave Lemon, and if you don't know who I am, I'm an amateur sculptor who became a professional sculptor over years and years of practice and uh, keeping at it. I started off in high school uh, trying to learn uh, how to throw pots in, in a ceramics class in my 12th year of high school, and uh, I couldn't throw pots to save my neck. My I was all fingers. And uh, so down through the years, I've taught myself how to sculpt. I'm going to try to pass on to you uh, in these videos that I'm going to be producing uh, a little bit about uh, how uh, I do my uh, work and uh, create uh, things like uh, this face here that uh, I made, oh, years ago. It was, it's all that's left of a life size or larger than life size uh, clay I did of a cowboy. First thing you need to do is All right, uh, from armature to clay on this uh, first DVD that I produced. Uh, it's uh, a DVD that I produced uh, showing how to sculpt a male bust in clay. And here I'm showing how to make the armature, the first clay, uh, taking proportions and making making adjustments and stuff like that, and then starting into the portrait itself. Uh, what I'm trying to do on this video that I'm sharing with you today are f my five videos that I currently have out. And this was the first one that I produced. Uh, I start with a skull, I, I add the muscles to the skull, uh, then I just, uh, you know, at the end of the video, I, I kind of have fun with the, uh, the face. Uh, this is going to be a new video on uh, using a true form armature, the uh, life size bust. And uh, I'll tell you how big this is. 
from the base to the top of the head is uh, just about 25 and a half inches tall. And this video here, I take a Trueform armature uh, from trueformarmatures.com uh, and I uh, start adding clay to it to show you how you can utilize this wonderful tool, this, uh, this uh, armature that's uh, foam and, and resin and stuff like that. Uh, to, to make a portrait I'm making of uh, a guy by the name of Henry Roman Nose, who was a Southern Cheyenne uh, warrior and chief. And uh, so through this whole thing, I show you measurements, how to uh, block in things, even using uh, plastic knives to, <laughs> to line up uh, the width of the shoulders. And uh, so I just uh, enjoyed the heck out of creating this piece. And after I was done with this video, I actually uh, uh, expanded on the piece a little bit, took away a little bit, added a little bit, and changed it a little bit. But basically, it is a portrait of uh, Chief Roman Nose. And uh, I show how to lay out the muscles, I show how to make uh, the hair, how to fill in uh, behind the hair so you don't use all that much clay doing it. And all that's in the video itself, and uh, I'm not going to show you here. You have to buy the video if you want to see that part. All right, this is a true form armature, and it's the uh, 24 inch tall. I'm going to sculpt the female figure first uh, without clothes. I'm going to get the under body first before I start putting the clothes on. This uh, video covers about uh, six months of sculpting on this piece from start to finish to the uh, bronze. Uh, here I am starting the uh, head, and that clay head in the background is uh, a clay that I'd done, had done years ago of Sacagawea and I just wanted to uh, use it as a model for her face. Uh, here I show you how to uh, put the head back on the body and then I start uh, positioning the, uh, the figure. And this whole idea for this piece came from one pose that I took of a uh, young uh, lady who lives over in Virginia City, uh, a daughter of a friend of mine, and um, I show you how to put the clay on, how to build the under uh, surface that goes below the clay or the uh, dress. Uh, here I'm showing how to make a uh, fringe and I try to show you how to do all these things so it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg when you cast it. It's still going to cost you a lot because bronze casting is inherently very expensive. But I'm taking my 38 going on 39 years of sculpting uh, and trying to pass it on to you through these videos. Um, here I am uh, just starting to add uh, clay so that I can put hanging fringe off her sleeve. Uh, you got to have stuff underneath the fringe and here I'm working on the face trying to personalize it a little bit. And the, the face is pretty much coming out of my head but I'm also using photographs of uh, young Indian wet ladies to uh, do the face and uh, braiding hair, doing the hair. And then I uh, end up in a gallery in Tahoe uh, at the end of creating of this piece uh, last uh, summer. And uh, I finished up the clay at the, at the uh, gallery, actually. Uh, here I'm laying down the bead uh, uh, p uh, thing that's gonna go on there and then I'm putting in the pattern of the Cheyenne uh, beadwork, which is rather complicated, and I'm also working on the face and finishing up things like adding uh, an earring here and an earring on the other side. And then at the final part of this this DVD, uh, these are all separate DVDs, by the way. Uh, I show you the original bronze. Uh, this is the actual color of bronze once it's cast and sandblasted. It's actually a white metal that uh, you can polish up, make it look like brass and then here the uh, guy at the foundry was putting on the patina which is done with acid and, and heat and this is the final bronze all right uh, this is the first day of a new instructional video that I'm going to be making and this one will involve the making of a horse's head
And this uh, shows a, a skull that uh, was sent to me by a friend up in Oregon. Uh, I use it to uh, help me uh, whenever I sculpt a horse's head because uh, the skull is very important to the shape of the face and, uh, and the structure of the face. And I show that in this video. Here I am uh, adding clay to the uh, the horse and, uh, and the armature that I made, and I show you how to make the armature and and all that. I even tell you how much clay uh, I put uh, it took to do this, so that you can plan yourself, uh, plan your own uh, little horse bust, you might say. It's it's very important to get the little nuances on the uh, skull. Here I'm adding the first muscles uh, at the nose of the skull. Uh, the mouth here, I've already added the uh, two tubes for the, the, the nose. And uh, now I'm working on the uh, neck of the horse. Uh, believe me, this is uh, really condensed. This, uh, all these videos are well over an hour. This one, I don't remember how long it is, but I think it was probably an hour and 15 minutes, hour and 20 minutes, something like that. Uh, all the videos are over an hour long. And here I'm just starting to lay the... Uh, uh, mane on the horse and showing how to uh, make it look like hair instead of tubes of clay. Again, uh, it, it's oh here I am uh, putting here the copyright. Are. Here we are, and that's what it took to do this piece with six pounds of clay. I hope you've enjoyed this DVD. I've enjoyed bringing it to you. feet and stuff like that. Everything comes apart. Uh, well, you can take the uh, rib cage off and work on the upper part or, or adjust the, the height of your... Alright, this is my uh, fifth and last DVD. Um, not necessarily in the order it was made, but uh, again, I'm, I'm creating here a uh, Baby uh, being held by a mother, uh, Sacagawea. Uh, Sacagawea, if you didn't know, is a historical figure from the Old West. Um, here I start putting the clay on the uh, armature. It's an 18-inch armature here, and that's why uh, it doesn't have uh, the bones in the arm because uh, it's, it's too small for that. Uh, it does have the leg bones. That's nice. Here I'm showing the, uh, the uh, positioning of the hips and the shoulders and starting to add the muscles and the legs. Now, because she's going to have clothes on, I don't worry too much about every nuance uh, of tendon and muscle because it's going to be mostly covered by clay anyway. This was the first positioning of the baby that I came up with, and uh, after running into a lady in a restaurant, I decided to change that because she was holding her baby a completely different way, and uh, I took pictures of her with my iPhone and uh, came up with a better design than I started out with. Uh, here I'm using a, a Native American lady's face from the movie uh, Black Robes uh, from years ago. Uh, here's the uh, new positioning of the baby, and I'm just uh, adjusting things and trying to make it look uh, motherly and loving and uh, by bringing the two heads of the, of the uh, baby and the mother together. And this is the uh, idea for the blanket that I'm going to have around her. It, it was for, taken by photograph of a lady at a mountain man rendezvous. And uh, here I'm working on the baby's face, which is not easy. I hate doing baby's faces. They're very hard, very un-adult. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, all five of these DVDs in one video so that uh, you aren't going here and there to find a video of uh, my DVDs. These are the current ones that I have available as of December, I mean January 10th, 2014. Um, next week I will be starting a, uh, hopefully starting a horse uh, DVD where I'm doing the full body of the, the, the horse. So at the end of this uh, video, I kind of like uh, the way this one turned out and I kind of hope you enjoyed watching these. So if you're interested in buying one of these DVDs or all five of them, uh, just follow the instructions below this video in the video description. Thank you for watching.